It's been a busy year for the Students' Union with lots of change. The officers, staff, reps and volunteers have all been hard at work. I'm going to talk briefly about where we are and where we're going, our excellent working relationship with the university and about why events like these are so important. The union has been striding forward in the past year and is more active and more engaged with its members than ever. Our involvement and engagement has been rising year on year, with over 1,500 students taking up responsible leadership positions, over 3,500 students reached via health and wellbeing activities, over a 140% increase in sport participation. Over 500 events organised, promoted and supported in partnership with students. Over 100 societies and still growing. That's a 30% increase on last year. And over 10,000 hours of paid work given to students, building skills and putting money back in the pockets of our members. And most importantly, we've been making sure that students are at the heart of our decision making and choosing our priorities. To achieve all this hasn't been easy, and we've been incredibly busy. We've been building a student cooperative at the Student Union building in Eastbourne to make sure the venue was at the very centre of campus life. And there are plans for a bike cooperative to lower travel costs, reduce congestion and promote well-being. These cooperatives place the students in key leadership roles responsible for fully shaping these ventures. We've also been working with our student media groups to make sure a sustainable and flexible structure is in place to embed our radio, TV and newspaper societies fully into student life. This year, the Student Union is running both the Rate Your Landlord survey and the brand new Rate Your Hall survey. These gather important information with, with which we can use to improve our members' living conditions. The new Rate Your Hall survey also means that students are now able to publicly express their opinion on their university-run accommodation for the first time. Interesting results, and they'll be coming soon. Uh, we ran our annual engagement week where we had 1,500 students fill in our Keep, Stop, Start survey. This has given us fan some fantastic data that is informing our agenda for the year to come. In partnership with the university, we managed to get a response rate of 72% on the National Student Survey this year. That's an incredible achievement as we beat our target of 70% and as a priority for the union, a huge amount of credit for this goes to everybody involved. The National Student Survey is incredibly important and it's an excellent way for students to express their thoughts and feelings about their experience at university and provide the fuel for change. The results are made publicly available to help prospective students choose which university they want to study at. So this adds a little bit of an extra, extra incentive for the university to act on student opinion. Also, after we thought it may never happen, we have finally brought back bars to the campus. We have recently opened... <laughs> We have recently opened cafe bars on our Moolscombe and Falmer campuses and we are in the processes at Eastbourne. <laughs> <laughs> Students have been asking the Students' Union to do this and it can be seen in every major survey carried out in recent years. It just proves that the student voice is able to physically alter the landscape of this university. As you can see, we've been up to lots this year and as much as I'd like to tell you about everything, we'd be here for quite a while. The Students' Union is definitely moving forwards in a direction based on, the, on the, our new strategic plan that we passed last year. As an organisation, our aim is to engage and empower Brighton's student body through working with others towards positive change to make a truly incredible student experience. We want to make sure that students get the most from their time at university through their academic, wellbeing, lifestyle, social, leisure and employability needs so that they have a firm foundation for future achievement. I also know that while I won't be around next year, the new sabbatical team are going to be excellent leaders and I can promise you that you're all in very good hands. One thing that is vital to everything that I've been talking about is our relationship with the University of Brighton. While we are here to keep them on their toes and to be their critical friends, our continued partnership and positive relationship with the University is what makes so much happen. We would not have brought back bars to campus, be refurbishing our spaces, or have seen an increase in library opening hours without this partnership. While I could list everything we've done together, it's key to note that this is because of our students who see value in participating and in turn drive our priorities as a union and as a partnership. And this partnership is down to a positive relationship with both the university senior management and at every other level. While we don't always agree with each other, we do respect each other, and this has been a major force for change. While we spend a lot of time talking about what needs to improve or change, it's also very important that we talk about the stuff that's already great. Important that we celebrate all of the incredible things that the members of our university community are already doing. Whether that is the lecturer that has inspired you to do amazing things, the course rep who has volunteered to improve your experience, or the support staff who got you through those tricky times. That is why nights like these are so important. It's a chance for us to say thank you for all the hard work being done already. 
So a massive thank you to all of you for making our university community so incredible. A round of applause, please.